Thank you, Dr. Singh, Dr. Jones. Um, I actually start with the, uh, I have two talks here, so I apologize. I'll start with this one. It's early cholecystectomy, less than 72 hours is associated with lower rates of um, complications and bowel duct injury. A study of uh, close to 110,000 patient cholecystectomy in the state of New York. Would like to uh, thank the program committee for the opportunity to present this data here today. We have no relevant disclosures. So laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the standard of care for cholecystitis, with nearly uh, 750 cholecystectomies being performed in the United States annually. Uh, and this is due to uh, its advantages of reduced cost, decreased hospital length of stay, and uh, higher patient satisfaction. Uh, early cholecystectomy, less than 72 hours, has been the preferred choice for cholecystitis. Um, however, data favoring early cholecystectomy mostly involves single institution studies and only a few population-based studies. And this is a, uh, a review, uh, uh, it's a re review by Kao et al. that, that was uh, published in 2015 uh, showing that uh, early cholecystectomy, majority of the, the papers actually defining is less than 72 hours. However, there is very uh, great variation in that and also late cholecystectomy is uh, also has great variation as well. So the purpose of our study was to compare uh, clinical outcomes uh, of patients undergoing cholecystectomy within 72 hours of uh, presentation to the emergency department uh, versus those that presented, uh, I mean, uh, those that uh, following the 72 hour period using a large statewide database. So for this purpose, we use the longitudinal New, uh, New York uh, database called SPARCS. Uh, SPARCS is a statewide planning and research collaborative system, and it's an administrative database. Um, using ICD-9, ICD-10, and CPT codes, uh, we identified all patients that uh, presented to the emergency department with diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. Then they subsequently underwent uh, cholecystectomy. And this was during the time periods of 2005 to 2016. We excluded patients that were aged less than 18, uh, those with missing diagnosis and other biliary diagnosis, and also those that presented after uh, cholecystectomy to the emergency department. Early cholecystectomy was defined as uh, within the 72 hours of presentation to the emergency department and versus delayed, which was over 72 hours. And the two groups were compared in terms of patient demographics, comorbidities, overall complications, bowel duct injury, hospital length of stay, 30-day readmissions, and ED visits. After univariate analysis, we used the multivariable logistic regression to compare the two groups. So you can see here that uh, after the inclusion-exclusion criteria, there were 110,000, oh, is there a pointer? Oh. 110,000 um, patients that present to the emergency department with acute cholecystitis and subsequently underwent cholecystectomy. Most of them, 85% uh, actually had early cholecystectomy, so within the 72 hours, within three days. And 15% uh, had a delayed cholecystectomy. You can also see that from 2005 to 2016, you had an increase of number of patients that, uh, that underwent early cholecystectomy within the 72 hours, and that was significant, and delay was actually a decreasing trend. In terms of comparing variables between the, the two groups, they were different in terms of uh, gender. There were more female. Uh, female patients in the early cholecystectomy, younger age, uh, Caucasian race, uh, commercial insurance. In addition, early cholecystectomy had more laparoscopic uh, uh, procedures performed and also had less comorbidities. Following multivariable logistic regression, uh, early cholecystectomy uh, patients within the early cholecystectomy group um, had uh, less complications, uh, shorter length of stay, which was significant, um, less 30-day readmissions, also less 30-day ED visits, and very importantly, less bile duct injuries. So based on these findings, we concluded that early cholecystectomy, less than 72 hours, is the preferred procedure for acute cholecystitis, as it is associated with fewer complications, specifically bile duct injury, shorter length of stay, and fewer 30-day readmissions and ED visits. Thus, it should be the, the one performed one presenting with acute uh, cholecystitis. Thank you.